Okay, you guys, I seriously have to finish the shower or we are never gonna be able to move into this bus. But um, I've been trying to figure out what to use for the floor of the shower because I don't think <laughs> broken dishes are the right choice. They're far too slippery, I think, even though there's grout in between them. And also they're, um, they have too many curves, like they're convex and concave and I don't want water pooling up in them or around them so i i just thought it would be better to go with something flatter for the floor of the shower so i found these tiles in a sort of a sand color to represent the sand at the bottom of the sea um, but i don't want to leave them in ginormous squares like this i'm still going to break them which means i get to smash them to bits with this hammer Okay, so here's what I've got so far. I measured out the whole bottom of the shower and marked it out on this brown paper, also marking where the drain will go. So I'm just gonna start, or keep breaking these tiles into pieces. You guys, the first one, I thought I was gonna be really clever and I stood up and I was just gonna drop it on this cement floor to break it. And all it did was bounce and make the most deafening sound you can imagine. So I will not be, <laughs> dropping any more tiles. It's loud enough when I break them with a hammer. Oh, and by the way, what do you think of my starfish? I needed something else for the bottom of the floor, right? So here's my very scientific method. You want to just aim for the tile, anywhere on the tile. And there's the pieces. Okay, this isn't working all that great. I think I need to break these into smaller pieces. I think it's the only way they're gonna fit right. I think. I'm not sure. Finally! Ta-da! Okay, now we can finally get this shower floor finished. You want to know what's so cool, you guys, is that I only paid $9 for a whole stack of these tiles that I broke to pieces to make this. The other flooring that we were considering from the building supply store were those 12 by 12 sheets of um, like natural stone pebble tiles. And I can't remember exactly the price of those specific ones, but I know those 12 by 12 sheets run anywhere from like 12 to $25. So there's no way, I mean, it would have been well over $100 just for the floor alone of this shower. And I got my whole floor for nine dollars and it's like that for the walls of the showers too 
buying tile can be so expensive and I got all mine for a dollar a plate or sometimes 50 cents a plate which is like almost a square foot so like a dollar a square foot which is pretty cheap when it comes to tiling. Now I have to find out if contact paper will stick to stone tile. The surface of this stone tile seems a little more rough and porous so I don't know how well it's going to do with contact paper. I guess I should do a test patch. Let's do a sample. Okay, let's see how well this works. <laughs> like a charm. I was worried over nothing. This contact paper is amazing, you guys. It works just like the rest of my whole shower. I love it. On a random side note, on the mosaic shower topic, for some reason, at some point, I thought it would be interesting to see how much scrap I was left with from the leftover bits of plate that I didn't use, like that weird rim at the bottom of the plate and stuff like that. So now I'm stuck with all these boxes and boxes of remnant pieces, the scraps that I trimmed and from cutting all the pieces of tiles for the whole shower. 10 boxes of scraps, you guys, and I don't know why I have been keeping them, but now that I've showed them to you, they're all going in the trash because we are getting ready to move out of this house, you guys. We're about to give our 30-day notice to leave this house and be on the road 100% for good. Hi, Rena, this is Carrie. We're gonna need that big trash container we talked about. That's a good question. What's that? You know, hey Mike, yep. do you want just the big container or do you want to keep the green one and get the big one too? Is it the... We should probably keep them both just yeah, in case. Yeah, no, let's keep them both. We don't know where we're going to be We're moving again. out, so like we have no idea how much trash there's going to be. Uh-huh, bye-bye. Okay. We're going to be able to throw lots of stuff away. So we found a few pieces that came loose, either because the thin set was too thin the way it was applied on the wall or it got too dry, possibly both. It got too dry because it was too thin. But you know, I think that's just from living in Arizona. Everything is dry. The air is dry. The surfaces are dry. Like it just sucks the moisture out of everything. So, we're just putting a few pieces back in place. Okay, those are good. Now we get to give the turtle his eye. I've been waiting for this moment. And there's a little piece that goes right down underneath his eye. Oh gosh, which way does it go? Oh, other way, this way. Is that little piece under it like in? I guess so. I think it's as in as it's gonna get. Okay. Nice and chubby. Yeah. I'll be generous. How am I gonna do this? I'm just going to have to peel the plastic off and do each piece one at a time and get rid of the, the plaster or the contact paper as, it goes. as I go. So I, that's the only way I'm going to know how many loose ones there are is right. to get the contact paper off of there totally. as I go. I can see that. I got my thin set perfect consistency for this though. Yeah, that's really good. is doing good. Famous last words. Looking at the back of that tile right there, yeah. like none of the thin set was touching it. So it's not that it, we did a bad job, it's just that in some places the thin set dried. Dried before she could get that onto it. Yeah. 
building in Arizona. I like that one too. Jerks. <laughs> there was a whole None of them want to stay. It was a rebel patch. How they were banding together up there. Mm -hmm, totally. Trying to overthrow the shower. It was peer pressure. <laughs> Inset pressure. Yeah. I just cut myself. Now. Will this madness ever end? <laughs> Stay tuned next year when we finish the tiles. I'm just glad it's an easy fix. Yeah. Like, oh, all we have to do is spread a little thin set on there and stick it back in. You know, it would be terrible if we had to, like, redo the whole wall or oh, something. Oh, God. Can you imagine? <laughs> no one would do this if it was that Yeah, hard. totally. It's insane. I can see why these ones popped off. They're all convex. Oh yeah, totally. There's hollow spots underneath them. It needed thicker grout. Maybe that yeah. was it. It just needed to be thicker and then it would have stayed wetter longer too. Sure. Okay, I think we got everything. Does nope. it look good from there? You gotta get down in the niche. Oh, that. The one I was saving to the last. I have to make up my mind whether I'm going to leave it as it is or fix it and make it look right. Right. So, first, well, explain what you're talking about here so people get it. Okay, it's kind of hard to explain. You can show it. I mean, you can see the difference from here and why yeah. you want to do that. When I had this picture all laid out on the floor on the brown paper, I just had a square drawn right here. So this whole piece you know was up here flat and the last row of orange went into that square right so that made it go back once we you know once i was actually putting it in the niche it made that orange part go back this far so i thought i should just fill in the rest with more orange pieces so if you're standing right here where i'm standing and you're looking straight at this then the picture looks perfect and all the sun rays are exactly the same length but if you get out of the shower and see it from out here, from the camera's perspective, it looks like the orange ray is now going longer than all the rest of the rays. So I'm debating about whether to chip out all of these pieces, chip out these pieces and move them over to right here and then put blue pieces back in in the back here so that everything will look the way it's supposed to look. I'm kind of leaning towards doing it. Do it. I think it'll take me like an hour, 45 okay. minutes to an hour. Do you it. with me? Yep. Okay. Let's you know what? This is your project, and, and you know, this will be a regret if you don't. Yeah. So let's see how easy it is to pick these pieces up. Oh, easy. Okay, they come out super easy. <laughs> okay. I they would. <clears throat> All right, I need to get a drink, and then I'll regroup to get started on that. I think I need a drink too. Jesus. Not that kind of drink. Uh, <laughs> it's too early in the morning for that. You're ruining my alcohol. <laughs> All right, Carrie cut out all the pieces she's going to make that change right now putting the orange so that it looks right from this angle exactly i'm going to fix it make it and look she's right. going to hand cut this stuff for you guys to see right here right now live well kind of live because it's recording but, <laughs> but you'll see it here you saw it here first folks okay i better just stick down all these orange pieces first do it before i lose them or get them out of order or something i'm so glad i decided to do this this would have bothered me for all time if every time someone this. walked in here you would have told them right that's oh, one, oh that's we one could have thing. sold this bus and I would have said, yeah, but that one sun ray in the shower wasn't right. Probably knock off a thousand for that. <laughs> They're going to have to fix it. Okay, why is this not... Okay, so we're just going to cut this one to make it the right size. Right. Get like one shot. If you don't get it right, you're screwed. Oh my God, that's perfect. Carrie's a champion at this now. She's cut tens of thousands of these now. I've broken a lot of plates in the past year or two, haven't I? You know, if you, I, I don't know what the, the, the count is here, but... <gasps> Whoops. Like, it's, it's massive. Oh, and how many plates are in this shower? Oh, yeah. It would have been cool. Not plates, keep... like tiles, individual tiles. Oh, individual pieces. Yeah. 
It's thousands. And well, each you one was. Count yeah. them. I don't have that kind of time. Or patience. Left in my life. <laughs> oh, that looks so much better. Now it looks right. Oh, I love that I did this. Okay, I'm going on the rest of the blue now. All right. Too wide. Okay, we'll use that one somewhere else. Oh my god, I have a lot of following. I clicked on your hand, uh -huh. and a little box is following your hand, keeping it in focus. Really? I didn't know it did that. Well, I didn't either. That's cool. That was handy. Handy? <laughs> <laughs> it still recognizes your hand and is still trying to follow it. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I am very happy with my fix. Doesn't that look better? Doesn't that look right now? It kind of does, yeah. I agree. I want to come step out and see it from back here. <laughs> oh, yay! I'm much happier with that. Much happier with that. Now the picture looks right. Once you get it grouted, like in here, once you get it grouted, then it's going to look a okay. Yeah, totally. Oh, that's so much better. Good. Do you like it? I do. I like it better. High five! Okay, we totally forgot to film it, but we did the same method we used before on the shower mosaic where we stuck down um, all the tiles with contact paper and then I used a razor knife to cut sections of tile apart. So these are the first three pieces we're going to be putting in the shower. You're gonna get are we me? using the sawtooth or the notch? Um, well, these are bigger, thicker tiles. Probably, Aren't you supposed yeah. to go by the thickness? Like yep. the half the thickness of the tile is Something the width like of that. your notch. Okay, I'll let you be the judge of it, and I'll let you be my mud man. I can be your mud man, baby. I'm not going to press any of this in yet. I'm just going to leave it like very gently resting on top until we get everything in place. Okay. Glasses would help. Well, ooh, Mike is putting in the first piece of the drain assembly that we had to find on eBay, the last one in America, probably after they discontinued our line of. Yeah, did Stop. we talk about that on film yet? I don't think we so. We put in um, the Duroc shower system, and then of course that Watch would out. call for the Duroc drain assembly. And in the time since we put in the shower, they have, um, what's the word discontinued. for it? Discontinued. They have discontinued. All right, excuse me. i got to do stuff. Making the drain assembly. So for a couple of weeks, we thought we weren't going to be able to find a drain assembly at all. And then miraculously, Mike found one on eBay just a couple of days ago, and it just came in the mail yesterday. So we're finally able to get our shower done. Getting it level with the rest of the tile. It's so weird how they do this. 
Don't like it. <sighs> Not really. This has got to come out. Oh, no. This goes on like that. Then, okay. then you put mud in it. Then you put mud here. I'm glad you're not afraid to just dip your hands right in there. I just, I just don't have time. <laughs> I know this stuff is horribly drying to your hands because it's so caustic. But you know, sometimes you just got to get the job done. Yeah, I'm just not really worried about that part. Yeah. I probably have cancer from something else by now. <laughs> right? This is the least this of is, our concerns. Like, this is probably helping cure it at this <laughs> point. Just leaching all the bad stuff out. <laughs> okay, now we come back down here. And we insert this in to here. Down, 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 down. Down. See it's starting to mush out there. Oh, good. Get it level. That's it. Okay. Oops, sorry. So now we need to... Pardon me. Go get your last piece. Okay. Oh, the wrong way. <laughs> that was a scary moment for me. I was like, Jesus, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that looks good. Okay, I can't let this stick. Ooh. Whoops. Sorry. I'm gonna go make more mud. You need to press this down. Oh. Don't press on the construction block. Okay. What are you doing right now? Well, the starfish needs extra grout because the thickness of the plates, well, I should say the plates are thinner than the thickness of the tiles. Right. So we have to raise up the starfish a little so bit to just, match the surface of the tiles. So you're gooping more thin set on top of the thin set we put down for the yep. tile? Yep. Gotcha. Just filling it up a little more. Nice. Oh, there you go. I don't want any places to be um, too low or the water will pool up there and not drain right. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. And then if the, if the water is pooled up and it evaporates, then it will constantly leave like white water deposits behind. It will make our starfish look ugly. So oh, okay. got to make sure we get this guy all dialed in. Oh, then we can smush this down to the level of the other tile. Using the float. You know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah, that'll be Going perfect. Going right across each hand, arm, tentacle, <laughs> thing, <laughs> appendage, fishy appendage. I should have made it pink so it would be like Patrick on SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> There's SpongeBob. I love how when you're holding it, it flops over on my hand like a real starfish. Totally. It Isn't does. that so cute? Yeah. <laughs> Real starfish don't do that though. They're all stiff and they move it like one thousandth of a mile an hour. Push it down with that thing. Not there. Just over the each arm. Yeah. All right. Super good. Let's let it dry for days. <laughs> look in the look in the screen though. Oh, it does look really good in the camera screen, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> cool. Oh, it's in here. We need to catch it before Mama Kitty does. Oh, sh that roadrunner will can. tear her up. <laughs> Mama Kitty was about to have lunch. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was weird. Roadrunner, the coyotes after you. Mm -hmm.